so tired but I already woke my, made my bed and we have a workout class this morning I did not vlog yesterday so we're one day behind on the advent calendar and honestly my mom woke me up this morning I want you guys to leave me a comment below if you are like quote unquote an adult but your parents still call you and wake you up in the morning because I would not be making it to this 8.30 a.m. yoga class today if it wasn't for my mom calling me. So I'm going to go to Core Power, work out. I'm taking my friend London's class, so that's really exciting. I don't think I've ever taken one of her classes before. And then we'll probably get a coffee, not at Starbucks, because y'all be calling me out. <laughs> and then I actually have to do a lot of homework for finals and stuff today. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that here in my apartment or if I'm going to go to like a coffee shop or like a local library. I originally intended to go up to campus, but I just do not think I can do that today. All right, let's go to Core Power. we chatted so I wanted to catch up I just finished making breakfast something nice and simple and I feel really productive already like we went to the gym we did a return we got some coffee we cleaned the bathroom we cleaned the kitchen a little bit and I wanted to tell you guys like one of my pro tips I literally when I get home from like the gym I'll put on the Renaissance album and everything I want to do like that is my time period like when America has a problem comes on, I'm like, okay, prioritize. What last little bit do I want to clean? Because after this album is over, it's finito. Because otherwise, I literally will just clean like all day and for hours. But we're going to keep the productivity trend going. I need to answer some emails, pay some bills, order some Christmas presents. And then I also need to like order some last minute things for the apartment. There were so many like little things that I wanted to get done. I don't know if you guys remember, but I started an apartment series over the summer that I have not finished. So I want to update my apartment, like just the last little touches for 2023. So we're ready for 2024. And someone asked me to film an apartment update for you guys. So I'll probably do that then too. I Still don't have a Christmas tree and I haven't really decorated for Christmas besides 
this Christmas candle that I got yesterday. So <laughs> it actually might be a really good like evergreen video if it's not too Christmassy. But that is the plan for today. I have a lot of schoolwork to do because it's final season. So I want to catch up on my psychology, my positive psychology class. I missed an assignment last week. So I want to do that first things first. And then I also want to finish my midterm or my final rather for that class. Then I need to work on my psychology and law project and paper. And then hopefully, maybe if we have time, we'll probably, we're going to stop by my friend's birthday party. She's turning 29 as well. And she literally picked a venue that, anyway, she picked a venue that is really close to my apartment. So I'm like, I have to go. It's literally right in my neighborhood. So I'm going to go and like visit her there later. And uh, yeah, we should have a really fun Saturday. I need to edit so many videos. I'm behind on Vlogmas already. I was supposed to, at this point, have posted like four videos, but I think we're at two. So <laughs> hopefully I have some time, if not like fully editing the videos, at least setting them up in Final Cut so they can be edited at a later point in time. But yeah, let's uh, get this productivity train started and choo-choo, keep on chugging along. <laughs> Christmas gifts now and I kind of already know what I want to get my brothers for Christmas and when my brother's birthday is the 29th and I know what I want to get him but why are they charging me $12.99 in order to get everything in time for Christmas like I I'm really upset I don't like paying for shipping at all and I might because my brother's birthday is the 29th so like maybe I'll just pay six dollars and have it in time for the 28th then I feel bad because my other brother won't get his gift in time for Christmas, but he might just have to wait a few days because I do not want to pay $13 for shipping. So, I mean, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's December 9th and I'm ordering it. It's just, it's personalized. So they're like inscribing their names on it. So that's probably why it takes so long, but I'm just going to order it. Who cares? <laughs> but I'm not paying $12 for shipping. I'm paying $6. And they're lucky because I'm only paying that because they gave me $12 off because they're having 15% off everything. So basically I'm just not getting a baby with a discount as I want. But I'm definitely not paying $12 for shipping. That is insane. A few moments later. Okay, an hour has gone by and I feel like I've done nothing. <laughs> but I did get all my Christmas shopping done. So that is finito. I wanted to do it on Black Friday, but literally nothing that i wanted to get my family was on sale on black friday so i just paid full price i guess i'm rambling anyway i really need to start doing some schoolwork. i'm gonna put my phone like in my bedroom and then i'm gonna try the pomodoro method i went ahead and make a little to-do list of everything i need to do that i think i already told you guys so i'm gonna put on some music and we're going to be focused for the next 25 minutes fingers crossed <laughs> because I've done the Pododomo, pro, Protomo, pro, whatever, study method for a solid like three now, rounds now. And so this round is supposed to be like my long break, which is 10 minutes, which is not enough. My long break needs to be like 20 minutes. So I'm going to eat my lunch, watch like a little YouTube video, and then we'll get back to work. I feel bad because 
One of my friends is in town from Philadelphia and she wants to get drinks before she has like a Christmas party she has to go to at 8 o'clock and I just, it's 4 now, I, well, it's actually like 3.45. I just don't think I'm going to be able to be in a good place to feel like I can go out at like 5-ish. Like, I think I'm just going to go to my friend's party and I'll probably arrive there around like 7, 8 o'clock. So, I'm going to have to text them and let them know I'm going to miss it this time, but... That's the way life is, you know? Sometimes you gotta prioritize school and like getting things done, even on the weekends. by the willpower I just exuded by like eating and then coming right back to work and not going to join my friends at the bar for drinks. <laughs> so I've been working on positive psychology all morning but I actually want to switch gears to my psychology of law and sexualized violence class just because I've worked on positive psych so much that I feel like I know what I want to write my term paper about and the word requirement is a lot less than my psychology of law and sexualized violence class and I have my topic but I don't really know how I'm going to structure the paper so I think I just need to put my brain power towards that. I'm also like the most nervous about this excitement because I don't know, our teacher can be a little intimidating, but she's very sweet, very nice. But like, if she feels like you don't know your stuff, like she will rip you apart. <laughs> I want to just make sure that I am dedicating some time to be prepared in that aspect. My topic for the paper is domestic violence and pregnancy and how it affects birthing outcomes. So I really want to focus on like domestic violence during pregnancy. One out of six women say domestic violence either starts when they're pregnant or increases um, during pregnancy. So I want to have that be a section. And then I want to have a section on birthing outcomes, but I haven't found like really good literature on it yet. So it's just a lot. So let me do that now. I'm also like looking at laws and stuff and I had to literally go to the law school library to like get access to the laws because they are very expensive if you don't have access to like law articles and stuff. So yep, let's uh, get back to studying. Hello my loves, I have literally been working like all day, <laughs> but I got a lot done. I sent like some work emails and I got to a pretty good place with my presentation. I feel a lot better about it than I did literally like <laughs> last week or like an hour or so ago, so that's nice. My hair feels like it's kind of wet, which I hate that for me. I don't know how it's so wet. I worked out hours ago. I honestly need to just wash my hair, but I think I'm gonna try to hold off to tomorrow because I teach at the studio tomorrow. So it's like, if I wash my hair, I wanna at least pretend that it's not gonna be like sweaty and gross within the same 24 hours that I've washed it. <laughs> Okay, so this is my outfit. I kind of want to change. So I'm wearing like this little Christmas sweater and then these ugly leather pants. <laughs> Sorry, if you watch Real House of Beverly Hills, then you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, just these like little leather shorts and some tights. I'll probably wear some like, not thigh high boots, but like just like longer boots, you know? I honestly think I might change into a different top though. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change. Yeah, I like this so much better. This is actually the outfit that I bought together. Cause like, when I go shopping, I always just buy outfits. So like, I have things in my closet that I bought together that I feel like go together. And this is one of them. I actually feel a lot more comfortable in this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my hair though. I might put it up, maybe like a half up, half down something. 
Okay, I'm actually obsessed. My hair is giving like 80s, 90s punk rock. Like, I love it so much. Okay, so that feels good. Now, because I like my hair, I'm gonna put on a little makeup. I'm not gonna do too much because I honestly don't feel like being there too long. And in the words of my mother, the sooner you get there, the sooner you can leave. So we're gonna be super quick. I'm not gonna do too much. so guilty because I'm going to this girl's birthday party and I don't have anything for her. I feel so bad, but honestly, like, this is truly going to be our first time hanging out outside of work, the yoga studio, and I didn't even invite her to my birthday. So hopefully this will be a start of like a really good friendship and we can hang out outside of work and next year I'll have the opportunity to get her a birthday gift, but right now, like, I just don't have the brain power to do so. But, ugh! I hear my mom's voice in my head, like, don't show up anywhere empty-handed, but the present is gonna have to be myself. So I am wearing this sweater, I'm really happy I changed, the shorts, and then some black leather booties. I actually got these boots from um, Paris when I went to my mom, with my mom for my 25th birthday. That was really fun. But yeah, I am not gonna bring my big camera because I'm bringing my teeny tiny Louis Vuitton bag. So I will vlog some clips on the phone, but I think this might be the end of the vlog, guys. I think I vlogged basically all day. I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> My life can be kind of boring sometimes. I have so many videos to edit, so I don't really think I need to continue this video into tomorrow because I need to get on top of what I have to edit on the schedule now. Yeah, I love you guys. I'm gonna insert some clips, but yeah. Basically, probably the last time you're going to see me. Until next time.